Hi, it's Mark with Skycom Solutions, and today we're going to answer the question, what is a network cable and why do I need it? Somewhere in your house, you might have a bin full of cables and you're not sure what they do exactly. So today we're going to talk about network cables and how some of them are a little bit different than others and you might want to throw some of the old ones out. You might hear terms like CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, 7, 8, it goes on and on. And the common ones you'll find in your home are going to be CAT5 and CAT5E. More and more you might see some CAT6 cables come through as they become more standard and a little cheaper to produce. The major difference between a CAT5 and a CAT5E on a technical level will be how many twists it has per feet. This is one of the technical reasons why we can get certain speeds throughout the cable. And the tighter the twists, the better speed they can get out of them, but it also adds more production costs, so it makes them more expensive. Also, one of the differences you'll see between a CAT5 and a CAT6 cable is the type of insulation that exists inside of them. This one will have the four pairs of cable and a very small string that acts as an insulator, whereas the CAT6 will have thicker or more st stiffer cables. And in the middle, there is a plastic divider that is kind of in an X shape where each pairs of cable will kind of travel along throughout the cable. But what is a network cable for? A network cable will allow you to connect a computer or a laptop, even your PlayStation, to your network on a physical level. So you don't have to rely on wireless if you don't have a strong signal or if you're too far away from your access point. Typically a network that is hardwired will have stronger reliability and will maintain speeds a lot better than wireless, especially if there's a lot of users. A good long network cable can also link two buildings together by passing on the ground through a conduit. So how do you know which cables you should use in your home when you're adding a new device? Some of these cables might have been around for a long time and might not provide the speeds you're looking for. Etched onto the side of the network cable will be some technical information as well as its category, or CAT for short. CAT5 is the fifth generation, CAT5E is the enhanced version of CAT5, and CAT6 is pretty much the standard today. It is the sixth revision of that specification. And then we go on to 6A and 7, but we're not quite there yet on a broad scale. You'll always find some details here. And as I search, I see here CAT6. So I know that this is a category six cable. I don't necessarily have to cut it open to see what's inside because you can buy them pre-molded, ready to go. The cable lens might appear different to you as well. For example, this one here is an unmolded cable end. It is just the RJ45 connector that's slipped onto the wire. This one here, for example, has a molded end. So there's an extra piece of rubber here that is joined together and it just makes the connection a lot sturdier here, uh, resists flex or pull uh, without damaging either the end or the device that it's connected into. It could be your computer or your router. A plastic end like this is more susceptible to damage. As you can see, it kinks pretty sharply. The speed ratings on the different cables will be different. A CAT5 is technically only rated up to 100 megabits. A CAT5E will do gigabit at the full supported length. And a CAT6 will definitely do gigabit at the full length and be a lot more reliable at those speeds, especially when there is a lot of throughput going through. And you can have a little bit of fun with your network cables. They come in all different kinds of colors and lengths that you might need. They're available at pretty much any electronic store. And as long as you look at the packaging and the cable itself, it'll say CAT5E or CAT6. That's what you're looking for. If you see a cable that is CAT5 only, it will not really perform well for what you're looking to do in today's day and age. But do you really need a CAT6 cable in your house? It depends on what you're doing. If you're just hooking up a printer, a CAT5 cable will technically work and do the job. If you have a media server inside your house that is just pushing out a lot of data all the time to many devices, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a CAT5E or CAT6 cable to sustain those gigabit speeds inside. I hope you learned something about network cables today. If you have any further questions that I might not have answered, leave a comment below. 
And if you're curious into watching other videos, click here.